All right, Daryl's live coming to you from Southern California here. Happy Monday. It's uh, two forty-eight in the afternoon, California time. It's uh, April third already. Wow, where did March go? April third, twenty eighteen. Want to do a quick video here, Daryl Lawson live on uh, Trump ready to use the military, U.S. military on the southern border with Mexico, U.S. and Mexico. Yeah, here's some of the headlines right now. Trump wants to use U.S. military to secure Mexican border until wall is built. That's from the Independent. Here's from CNN. Trump, we're going to be guarding our border with military until the wall is complete, right? There's one from KABC TV. Trump wants to use military to secure U.S.-Mexican border until wall is built, etc., etc. It's hot news right now. Uh, there's an article right here. Trump sending military to border to stop caravan. Here's another one. Uh, flashback. Mexico threatened to flood the U.S. with illegals if not given favorable NAFTA deal. All right, so that's enough to chew on right there. I mean, is not immigration the talk of the world, not just the U.S.-Mexican border? Yeah. So what's going on here? What's really going on here? Is it just new world order uh, strategy? Yes. Is it the same old, same old? Yes. <laughs> Are they ramping up their efforts? Yes. Will it get worse on the Mexican-U.S. border? I think so. You know, I was talking about this a little bit this morning. When I, do it. I want to do a, a video, a full YouTube video on it, so I'm doing it right now. But I did mention this this morning on my live show that I did on Facebook. And by the way, I do live shows Monday through Friday, Sunday mornings. Uh, I do at least three to four shows a day. You can see all my videos and more on my website, DarylLawson.com. All right. But I did mention this this morning. I said that uh, seven years ago, almost seven years ago, the Lord Jesus, the Holy Spirit, gave me a vision of a lot of people streaming from Mexico into the U.S. Now, as I'm, as I'm going to read these articles, it's not just Mexican people that are coming over the border. It's nations. You know? It's uh, people from Nicaragua, etc., etc. We'll read it in, in, the, uh, in the articles here. But it, this has reminded me, the last couple of days has, has, has and had reminded me of a vision that Jesus gave me about people streaming over. It looked like thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands, maybe millions. And uh, I, ca I actually was a two-night part two vision, two nights in a row, visions about the Mexican border, the U.S.-Mexican border. And uh, I remember seeing all these people that had their kids, their families, and they were rushing across the U.S. border from Mexico. And the strange part about it was that I saw the American troops, I saw the U.S. military out there. And there were so many people rushing across the border that the military couldn't do anything. I mean, you can stop one or two people, but not the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people that were coming across. So do I think this is going to increase? Yeah, for sure. Do I think this is just 150 people, a caravan, uh, or a couple hundred people? It, it may be the beginning. It may be, it, it, it may be that, but it's just the beginning, I should say. It's just the, be it's just the start. I think the New World Order, like around the world, into Europe and all other nations that are being inundated with, I think, Vatican deep state, deep state immigration policies. It's not so much that, it's not about uh, what the mainstream media, the fake news, talks about all the time. You don't love people you don't, because you don't allow them in your country. It's got nothing to do with that. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> it's got everything to do with chaos. It's got everything to do with... Pawns. That's a good word. Pawns. People are being used as pawns on a chess game, on a chessboard, as a new world order endgame to cause different results in different countries. Chaos. Fear. Economic hardship. Uh, stress. Fightings and wars. Oh, yeah. You know, I was reading a scripture here. Uh, and by the way, you can go on my YouTube video or just type in any engine search. Daryl Lawson YouTube video, Red Sky. And uh, it was from approximately, well, almost seven years ago. And it was a two-night, a two-parter. I also saw there was some kind of explosion it looked like coming from south of California in the Mexican, uh, either northern Mexico or somewhere in Mexico. Some kind of explosion, some kind of, I called it Red Sky because I just... 
I saw a, a plume of red in the sky coming from south of California, Mexico, Mexico. I called the video Red Sky, right? Warning. I think I, I put my Red Sky, false flag warning, something like that. And that was nearly seven years ago. And I always knew that sometime in the, in the future, the near future, you say seven years is near? Well, considering Adam and Eve lived 6,000 years ago, yeah, it's pretty near. Now, God, the Bible says the Holy Spirit will come into your life and he'll show you things to come. He'll, he'll show you strategies of the forces of darkness so you can start to pray ahead of time to resist, hinder, slow it down, or even uh, stop or thwart it. Yeah. That's why God shows us things. Yeah. Not just so we can say, oh, I saw this. <laughs> so I did see an explosion. I did. And then the next night I saw the people coming from the Mexican border or Mexico across the border. And the, and the strange part, you know, is the military were out. And so the last couple of days, and especially today, military out, Trump sending military, military, military. And I immediately had the flashback in my spirit on this. And I think it's just the beginning. I think it's just the beginning. Uh, Trump and Mexico may stop this caravan. Maybe, maybe not. But I think there is thousands, if not hundreds, a thousand, maybe millions to come. Yeah, of course the New World Order doesn't want Trump to secure the borders. No, listen, the New World Order doesn't want any country to have secure borders. <laughs> Since when does the deep state, the New World Order, want any country to be secure, right? Okay, so it's just, it's, it's, it's a piece of the big puzzle, yeah. It's not the only piece, but it is a piece we need to talk about, yeah. So in, in the vision I saw an explosion... Red dirt coming up in the sky. As far people in, even in California could see it. Uh, then there was an earthquake uh, right after that, and uh, you can watch my video. I'm not going to go into it t totally, but and then the two part of the next night, I saw people running over the border. So I think yes, I, I said this almost seven years ago, and I'll continue to say it. Continue to say it. I think the new world order strategy is to send not only this caravan, but caravans and thousands if not hundreds maybe millions of people and why to send trump a message to say hey we're not taking uh you you know we we don't agree with your immigration policy etc 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 uh will it happen i i'd like to say that it's not going to happen uh it's already happening <laughs> will it get worse i think so probably now, I said this before, and I'll say it again. It's not really the people uh, are the problems, all right? Yeah, people are being used as pawns. It's not really the pawns. It's the people behind the pawns. So it's not about the Nicaraguans. It's not about the Mexicans. It's not about uh, the different people on the earth. They're being used as, uh, as pawns on the planet. It's really the politicians and religious leaders and the deep state behind the scenes. So always remember that before you get your, your undies in a wad or your feathers ruffled. Realize we know we're not fighting against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness, the spiritual wickedness, spiritual wickedness in high places. Of course they use human beings, but, you know, uh, people tend to hate. <laughs> surprise, surprise, right? <laughs> and blame groups of people instead of going to the roots of the problem. That's what I'm saying, all right? Don't fall into that category. Yeah. Oh, I was going to go into the scripture here. Uh, this is what Jesus was saying in the book of Luke in the New Testament in the Bible. Uh, Luke chapter 21, for time's sake, I'm not going to read all of it. Luke 21, chapter 21, verse uh, 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations. Distress of nations. <laughs> is this immigration policy? Sure it is. Part of it, sure. With perplexity. <laughs> well, yeah, people are perplexed, yeah. Let me look at the uh, original Greek here. <clears throat> and upon the earth distress. The Greek word for distress, which was the original language of this verse. Uh, and upon the earth distress. Anxiety. <laughs> well, distress has the word stress in it, yeah. Of nations, so we're dealing with nat immigration as nations, with per with perplexity. It's the Greek word aporia. 
Like, what's going on, man? <laughs> How do you deal with this? It comes from another Greek word, a poreo. Uh, which is very interesting because it says, uh, upon the earth, distress uh, with perplexity, with a poreo. Uh, this is interesting. To have no way out. Wow. To have no way out. A lot of people, as, as pawns, we don't have any way out. People are forcing us to go in their direction like sheep or cattle. Yeah. To be at loss. Mentally, physically, etc., etc. Be perplexed. Yeah. To have no way out. Wow. So I'm using this verse as a, as a base to talk about this. And, I, and I'm not going to be that long here. I just wanted to focus a little bit on it and bring some attention to it. Uh, and then have people pray. And, of course, we don't believe what the mainstream media says 99.999% of the time, yeah. <laughs> Upon the earth, the stress of nation. This is immigration with perplexity. We don't know where to go, where we're coming from, and going across the borders as pawns, yeah. Of course, you know, the majority of people are pawns, but there's certain pawns that are more evil than other pawns, yeah, okay. Because, uh, you know, these uh, agencies around the world that work for the deep state, they hide among the, the sheep. Okay. With perplexity. All right. And that says the sea and waves roaring. We're also talking about uh, spiritually and physically here. Yeah. Uh, people manipulating people, people manipulating the planet, people manipulating the weather, people manipulating the, you know, everything. Yeah. Food. <laughs> Ge genetically modifying. If that's not manipulating the food, I don't know what it is. Yeah. But the next verse is also just as intriguing. Verse 26, men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. Another part of their strategy of this immigration, uh, deep state immigration, uh, migration immigration is to bring fear on the earth, fear to countries, fear to the people involved. Men's hearts failing them for fear. Now it's not talking about just males, it's talking about mankind, peoples. Hearts failing them. A popsuko, that's the Greek word for failing them. Fainting. To breathe out. Sighing in uh, distress, yeah. For fear. I think this is, uh, this is uh, people are, are, are wondering in the U.S. and probably people in Mexico. Uh, what, what is it all about? And uh, I, I beg people, listen, don't operate in fear. Take this to prayer. It's going to be okay. All right. Uh, Jesus is coming back really soon, and we are not going to be destroyed while we're here. The great tribulation, the great hell unleashed on the earth will not happen until the next rapture happens. Watch my videos on that. So don't operate in fear. Uh, you know, no matter what you're reading here, hey, you take it to the Lord and you walk by faith. Right. Okay. Men's hearts failing them for fear. I think this is a fear tactic, of course. Fear is the word in Greek, phobos, like phobia, yeah. We get the, we get the word phobia from, yeah. Uh, failing them, hearts, people's hearts failing them for fear. And this is not just talking about physical, but spiritual. Ah, people are running around, right? And then that causes panic, and that causes hatred, and that causes uh, divide and conquer, and that's what the New World Order want. Uh, God's not given us spirits of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. The true resistance on the, uh, on the earth, the true resistors, the true resistance is the born again spirit filled people that are hearing and doing God's word on the earth and praying. We don't, we're not we're not manipulated by fear. We know what's going on, even years in advance. For fear, for phobos, fright, alarm, and for uh, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. The powers of heaven shall be shaken. We're talking about the spiritual powers principalities, the powers, the rulers of darkness. I mean, Jesus is about to return. The New World Order is panicking because they don't have their ducks in an order yet. So they have to try on num numerous fronts and occasions to cause chaos on the earth. Let's try Korea. Let's try Syria. Let's try Russia. Let's try Mexico. This is just another piece of the deep state puzzle. Yeah, okay. So I'm just putting in perspective. Is this important? Sure it is. Is it the only piece? No. 
And then verse 27, and then they shall see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. See, this is all about the return of Jesus. <laughs> Even my cat says, yeah. <laughs> hey, boo boo, you want some water? <laughs> I just took him outside. He's fine, yeah. The crows are out there. I feed the, fed them peanuts. They love it. Verse 27, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. So why would you add the Lord's return to the, the previous verses? Immigration policies, distress, chaos. Because reality, in reality, these things are happening. The forces of darkness, darkness, the forces of darkness are moving because they know Jesus is about to return to the earth. Now, you're not going to hear this on ABC, MSNBC, CBS, ABC, Foxy News. You're not going to hear this on 99% of the mainstream media. But the reality is, Jesus let us know that the closer we get to his return, the uh, pains of labor, labor pains, will be more frequent. Yeah. <laughs> but what does Jesus say in verse 28? After that verse, he says, And when these things shall begin to come to pass, look up! Not when you're driving. <laughs> Means, uh, you know, look for the Lord. Lift up your heads, for your redemption draws near. Oh, see, it's always, don't panic. I say, don't panic. <laughs> and don't forget, I, I put another verse in here, too, from 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Lest Satan should get advantage of us. See, it's all about the spiritual war, spiritual warfare. Lest Satan should get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, what he's really doing. All right, let's get back to these um, <coughs> articles right here. And like I said, it's everywhere. Trump wants to use military to secure Mexican border. All right, let me just read uh, some of the article, some of the articles. Yeah, <clears throat> but I'm not going to be very long because I know your time is important. <laughs> Trump sending military to border to stop caravan. Caravan of about 1,500 people heading toward the border demanding asylum in the U.S. You know what? I read this and I thought, you know what? You know what's strange about this? If the U.S. is so bad, why do people want to live here? Right? Yeah. <clears throat> but, but again, it goes back to the pawns. The people are pawns of the New World Order, <clears throat> whether they know it or not. The military will be deployed to the U.S.-Mexico border to prevent a caravan of thousands from entering the states. And I think, from visions that I had almost seven years ago, it's going to be just the beginning of maybe hundreds of thousands, if not millions. And I don't think the military will be able to stop even... A, a, a small portion of that. <clears throat> but don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, baby. Everything's going to be all right. Because, hey, greater is Jesus in us than he does in the world. All right? Uh, listen, things have been happening for 6,000 years, right? Uh, Jesus always wins. And the people that stay with Jesus always also win. Yeah. Okay. The military will be deployed to the U.S.-Mexican border to prevent a caravan of thousands from entering the U.S. announced by... President Trump today. We are going to be guarding our border with our military, Trump said. That's a big step. He told reporters at the White House. Quote, we cannot have people flowing into our country illegally and disappearing. <laughs> I think we need to really focus on the politicians, to be honest with you, but I understand. Media uh, has been sounding this all day, all morning, all afternoon. The caravan of people is compromised, uh, or I say compromised, comprised, sorry, mostly of Hondurans. So this is a, not just a Mexican uh, strategy, this is, a, this is a new world order strategy using countries as pawns. Mexico, Honduras, etc., etc. Uh, comprised mostly of Hondurans led by far left political outreach group called the Pueblo Sin Fronteras or Peoples Without Borders, who vowed to provide shelter and safety to migrants and refugees in transit accompany them to the journey, and, and then together demand respect for our human rights. Okay. The group released a list of demands uh, today for the U.S. and Mexican governments to adhere to, which include that the U.S. open the borders to us because we are as much citizens as the people of the countries where we go. Hours before his announcement, Trump warned that Congress must act to legislate laws that strengthen the U.S. border with Mexico. Uh, another strange factor in this is that most of the U.S. Congress is working for the deep state. <laughs> so have fun with that, yeah. The big caravan of people from Honduras now coming across Mexico and heading toward the border. Had better be stopped before it gets here, he tweeted. Cash cow NAFTA is in play, as is foreign aid to Honduras. So Trump's trying to stop this. 
in the countries that allow this to happen. Congress must act now. Congress. <laughs> Congress is the deep state. <laughs> There's only a handful of people-ish uh, in the Congress that are not deep state, yeah. And Trump's not deep state New World Order either. No. Trump will probably have to act on his own. But like I said, I think this is just the beginning. And I wouldn't be surprised if Trump stops this and uh, or this is just the first wave or they ratchet up and they cause some kind of uh, false flag event in Mexico to cause the immigration to be even worse. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I was talking to someone over Easter weekend, uh, Resurrection weekend, I like to call it. Uh, and by the way, I hope you had a great uh, Easter, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, I like chocolate. By the way, yeah, not too much, but a little bit is okay. Yeah, <laughs> I don't worship the uh, Easter Bunny. <laughs> God made rabbits, but I'll eat the rab chocolate rabbits. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to uh, some uh, people over the weekend, <clears throat> and I was telling them about earthquake machines that the U.S. has. And uh, if you go on YouTube and you type in former finance minister of Japan talks about earthquake machines. And the Japanese government has been threatened for a long time to obey what the U.S. wants them to obey unless they will find the wrath of the U.S.'s earthquake machines. Just look that up. Yeah. <laughs> I laugh because I like to expose these things. Yeah. <clears throat> and... Uh, and so I bring that together with the vision that I had almost seven years ago of this huge explosion that could be seen in Southern California in, uh, from Mexico. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Earthquakes have been caused by the U.S. government for a long time with weather manipulation, uh, vol uh, volcanoes to come to life. Sure. Et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And there's always signs of this uh, huge amount of fish die off, uh, fish in the oceans, fish in lakes, fish in areas, strange lights appear before earthquakes, etc., etc., yeah. It's all there on the internet, uh, and, and you can bypass the mainstream media to see that, the fake news. It's great, 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 yeah. Okay, here's a flashback one. Mexico threatened to flood U.S. with illegals if not given favorable NAFTA deal. Now, I'll say this again. I want to reiterate this. When we're dealing with uh, New World Order, Deep State, don't blame the people of the countries. Right? It's the governments that are operating with the deep state. All right? So don't get upset with people and cultures and groups of people. You know, Because the New World Order love Americans to hate Mexicans and vice versa and Hungarians and everybody. Stop that. Don't do that. There is the golden rule, the golden law of the scriptures. The royal law, the Bible says. Love God and love your neighbor as yourself. So if we do that, we're wise as serpents and harmless as doves. We will not... Uh, be ignorant of the devil's devices. We'll not enter into that trap. We'll deal with the situations and not operate in hate. Oh, yeah, there you go. Mexico threatened to flood U.S. with illegals if not given favorable NAFTA deal. Today's human, hum, humanitarian cause is yesterday's political exploitation. Again, pawns. The Mexican uh, economy minister once threatened to flood the U.S. with illegals if Mexico did not get a, a, a good NAFTA agreement. This was back from 2017, not too long ago. Uh, Ildefonso Guajardo, Guajardo hinted Mexican uh, economy minister hinted at usual uh, no, at using, pardon me, illegal aliens as political pawns. Didn't I just say pawns? Yeah. T to renegotiate NAFTA. You know, Jesus died for everybody, sacrificed himself for everybody. But the New World Order, they just use you as pawns. Jesus, Jesus sacrificed himself for you, but the New World Order does the opposite. Yeah. So, hinted at using illegal aliens as political pawns to renegotiate NAFTA, which Trump vowed to, get, to gut during his campaign. Quote, if they do not treat us well commercially, they should not expect us to treat them well by containing the migration that comes from other regions of the world and crosses Mexico. So this is something that we shouldn't be uh, surprised with. I think people who have paid attention know this. Or just find out now. Yeah. 
Quote, or they should not expect to be treated well in collaboration with security issues in the region. So, of course, we're going to let people come through and you can't uh, stop us. <laughs> Currently, Trump is warning Mexican officials to enforce immigration laws or it's over for their cash cow NAFTA. Which is North American Free Trade Agreement, right? Trump said this uh, on the 1st of April, Sunday. He, Trump said Mexico is doing very little if nothing, at stopping people from flowing into Mexico through their southern border and then into the U.S. They laugh at our dumb immigration laws. They must stop the big drug and people flows, Trump said on Sunday, or I will stop their cash cow NAFTA. And then he quotes, need wall. As, alien, as the alien caravan, they call it, marches north, this time in the name of seeking asylum, more Americans, even the ones who didn't vote for Trump, are starting to turn against loose, loose border security. I'm encouraging people, listen, don't operate in fear. No matter what we see, what we hear, what goes down, we do not operate in fear. No way, shape, or form. It's just the New World Order panicking because people like Trump the resistance on the earth, born again, spirit filled people are praying, and the new world order is not in their f end game and their in their final positions to stop the return of Jesus. It's, that's what Jesus said in Luke twenty one. Yeah. And then, and then, and then, Luke twenty one twenty seven, and then, and then shall they see the Son of Man. This is this is one of the names of Jesus coming in a cloud. With power and great glory. So, if you know this, and you are spiritually in tune by the Holy Spirit, if you're born again spirit filled and you're paying attention, you know this is just fear tactics because the New World Order is in fear. They produce fear because they operate in fear. <laughs> but we don't. But Jesus said, hey, don't worry, look up, lift up your heads for your redemption draws night. No matter what generation has come and gone, Jesus has always protected his people. And listen, pray for the caravan of people. Pray for the hundreds, whatever people. Pray for Mexico. Pray for the Mexican government. Pray for the American people. Pray for the situation. Cast in the Lord's hands. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock at the door. Shall be open. All right, leave it to God's hands. God is big enough to deal with all these situations if we get involved with our prayers and obedience, right? Okay, because I'm not looking for the U.S. Congress as, as the Savior. I'm not looking for the Republicans or the Democrats or even Trump. Trump's not our Savior. Jesus is, and Jesus will cause all things to work together for good to them who love God and are called, into, and are, and are, and are called according to his purpose. Let me say that again. God causes all things to work together for good to them who love him and are called according to his purpose. Romans chapter 8. So this is just another situation. All right? Don't panic. Relax. Don't enter into unforgiveness or hatred toward people because that will cut the power of God off, off in your life. Don't forget in the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father, uh, it mentions one sin in spe in, in, uh, specifically, only, actually in the... The Lord's Prayer, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive them who trespass. <laughs> Interesting words, trespass. Kind of sounds like immigration. <laughs> trespass against us, sin against us, yeah. So don't forget, don't fall into unforgiveness or hatred toward anybody. If you want to focus in on, on a fight... Get born again, get spirit-filled, stay born again, stay spirit-filled, and start to pray and obey. Jesus, wash my sins away, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Get in the Bible and do it. Don't. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about Jesus. And then the Lord will cause everything to work together. Forget. He will continue to resist them until his soon return in the next rapture. The great tribulation will happen. Then Jesus will return at the Battle of Armageddon to put down the Antichrist system and take his uh, headquarters into Jerusalem. Oh, we got so much to look forward to. So don't no don't don't be part of the of the world system. These uh, things will happen uh, um, upon the earth. The stress of nations with perplexity. What? Seeing the waves roaring. Oh, that sounds like uh, harp. 
Verse 26, men's harp, H-A-A-R-P, look it up, yeah. Uh, weather manipulation, earthquake manipulation, yeah. Men's hearts failing them for fear. Forget that. That's what happens to the world. And the mainstream media feeds off of that and encourages people to operate in fear because then you can be controlled. We don't operate in fear. We operate in faith. Yes, the fear of the Lord, but not fear of what's going on in the earth. Man's heart failing them for fear. Ah, see, weak people in fear. Fear brings weakness and, and manipulation. That's why the New World Order hates Donald Trump. Because he's unpredictable and it's hard to manipulate. <laughs> because he's born again. And people are brain from You know what I saw? Uh, uh, I posted this. You know, if you ever have a chance, one of uh, Trump's daughters, <clears throat> Tiffany, I, I think from looking at her posts that she looks like she's born again, spirit filled. Yeah, I'm not saying I know everything about her and that she's perfect. But I do see a lot of Christian-like postings on her Twitter feeds, yeah. Tiffany Ariana Trump, right? She's a Georgetown Law student in Washington, D.C., yeah. The daughter of President Trump and Marla Maples. You know, I saw Marla Maples was a couple of years ago on Dancing with the Stars show there. Yeah. And she was very polite and very nice to her ex-husband Trump. She never had anything negative to say. So I think that's pretty amazing. That, that shows that she's got a good heart. Yeah. But anyways, look up Tiffany Trump. Uh, she's got her Twitter feed and all that. She's 24. Yeah. And uh, she did. Uh, she, I think she, she also went to the University of Pennsylvania in 2016. Anyways, very interesting. But if you look at her feed, it looks like she's awake, unplugged from the Matrix. And I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, from some of her postings, that she's born again spirit film. Daddy, daddy. Now, of course, they come from blended families, mixed families. Uh, but pray for the family. Pray for Trump and his family so that they are protected. Because uh, if they can't get to Trump, they'll try to get to the wife. They can't get to the wife, they'll try to get to the kids, this, that, and the other, or, or all together. And so uh, there's definitely people that God has put in Trump's life uh, physically that can talk to him and pray for him. You know, Acts 16, 31 says, you shall be saved in your household. So I wonder if people got saved first and then tr Trump got saved next. Because that usually happens uh, when God... Uh, when God invades families, when God moves upon fa people, it's usually in families, in circles like that, yeah. So maybe Tiffany got saved first, maybe one of the relatives saved, and then Trump, you know, thereafter. And that's how it works. You know, in the 12 apostles, there's three sets of brothers. <laughs> Let's pray. Father, we thank you. Don't let us operate. Don't let the planet operate in fear. Let us not be stressed out. Let us not operate uh, in uh, ignorance. With perplexity. No, no, no. Let's operate in knowledge and wisdom and discernment by your spirit. Let us let the hearts of the people not fail for fear. Break the spirit of fear over the U.S. and the nation. We pray for the states. We pray for Mexico. Mexico. We pray for the Honduras. We pray for all nations. Bless the people, Lord. Let them come into a relationship with you. Let them hear the word of God in these last days. Hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. Let everybody get born again spirit filled. And be resistance, uh, resistors. And the resistance against the new world order, against really the devil and his forces. Yes, Lord, let everybody get ready for the soon return of the Son of Man, Jesus the Messiah. Help us to always look toward you. Look up! Help us to lift up our heads to you no matter what. For you are our redemption. Second Corinthians 2.11, Lord, let the devil, Satan, let him never get advantage over any country. And let us not be ignorant of his devices. Thank you, Father, by your mighty Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, I'm out of here. Pass this video on 34 minutes here. I will take a quick break and come back on Facebook and do some of the headlines here in a moment. You can see all my thousands of videos that I've done personally by going to my website, DarylLawson.com. Click on the links right there. Facebook, I have them on YouTube, etc., etc. Make sure you subscribe as well. Facebook, Google+. Plus. Uh, I'm on Periscope as well, YouTube. Uh, YouTube, uh, I have over almost 22,000 subscribers, millions of views, uh, thousands of videos, and, and I also have uh, thousands of videos on Facebook as well, Facebook, YouTube. It's also on BitChute. I have Periscope. You can see all that information at more at DarylLawson.com. Right, okay, I love you. Have a great day. I'll take a break here and I'll be back. Don't forget, I'm here Monday through Friday and Sunday mornings. I, pr I appreciate all your prayers and support. I have a donation button on my website, 
TerrellLawson.com. God will bless you for your tithes and offerings according to Malachi chapter 3, verses 8 to 12. I love you. I'll see you later. Pass this video on to other people. TerrellLawson.com. God bless you. Bye for now.